Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to take a look at Peppermint 11. Peppermint 11 is brand new and there are some significant changes since Peppermint 10. Peppermint 10 was based on Ubuntu. Peppermint 11 is based on Debian Bullseye. The desktop environment in Peppermint 10 was a mix of LXDE and XFCE. Now all parts of LXDE have been removed and what you see are only components of XFCE now. After your first login, you see this welcome screen. Let's take a look what we have here. Now, here you can see install a web browser. Let's take a look. You need a password because if you install a program, you change something in your system. This is my password. Now you can see here there are some browsers. Firefox, Conqueror, GNOME Web, Falcon, the Tor browser for privacy, Midori, Qt browser, Lua Kit, and Chromium. None of them is installed. And you can also install some software here. Atrial, this is a PDF reader, transmission, and you can install the Snap package platform and also the Flatpak packages platform and the GNOME software store. Peppermint doesn't provide any graphical software store. So if you want to install software in Peppermint 11, you have to use the terminal or the Synaptic package manager which is very good, I have to say. But if you want a graphical solution, you can install the GNOME software store. Now let's take a look at Peppermint Extras. Here you can download and install Peppermint Extra wallpapers, themes and icons if you don't like what you find here. Now we open PepHub. There are some settings and you can change the appearance. Let's have a look at that. Here you can change the style. Default is Peppermint 10 Red Dark, but you also have Arc, Arc Blue, Arc Dark, Arc Darker. Let's have a look how Arc Dark looks. Let's go back to the default setting. Now we take a look at the panel settings. Here you can lock your panel, you can change the mode, you can hide the panel if you want that, and you can uh, change uh, the row size. Let's do that. Now you can see the panel gets bigger and also the icons. Let's take a look at default applications. Here web browser, no application selected, and you cannot select any browser because no browser is installed by default and the same for mail reader no application installed by default the default file manager is nemo and not funar if you want to change that you just choose funar here let's take a look at the whisker menu here you can see what's installed by default it's not much there is no libreoffice there is nothing, there is no GIMP. Here you can see ICE. i show you what to do with ICE in a minute. Now let's open a terminal. And I want to check the RAM usage. With HTOP we see 794 max. That's pretty much, but there is a solution. i show you how that works later. Now let's take a look at the settings here and what you see are the XFCE settings. Here you can change the appearance, the desktop, the panel, the window manager and here the XFCE terminal settings. For example, you can change here the appearance. I don't like transparent background here. I like none. Use solid color. In this case it's black. I would prefer that. Yeah, now let's take a look what the settings editor is. Oh yes, here you can find some settings. 
let's take a look at um, XFC panel, for example. Well, this looks complicated. I'll show you how to work with that. Let's, for example, take the icon size. This is the icon here in the panel. Uh, default is uh, zero. Here you can edit that. Let's change that to 116. This is pretty high. Let's uh, look what happens. Now, the icon is too big for the panel because it's only the icon size that changes now. Uh, this was definitely too much. Now, let's change that again to zero and save that. Now, it's default again. Now, let's go back to the terminal. As I said, it's pretty high here, almost 800 max. So, the RAM usage is too high. If you want to fix that, you have to use this command, sudo update icon caches. This will update the icon cache and it's in USR share icons. Well, let's do that. I need a password. So, now it's done. And now let's take a look at HTOP. But before that, we have to log out and log in to see if it works. Well, I opened HTOP again and you see it's almost half of the RAM usage. 456 max. That's crazy. So don't forget to enable XFCE icon caching because you see the result here. This is pretty necessary. Now let's take a look at ICE here in Internet. Let's open that. And now we get a message, warning, no suitable browser detected. This is because there is no browser installed. We close that window. ICE is working with Chrome, Chromium, Vivaldi and Firefox. And now we have to install one of these four browsers. I will install Chromium for now. So I just installed Chromium. Let's open ICE again. Here, Internet. And you see here in the whisker menu, Chromium web browser is installed now. We can, for example, Peppermint and the address is peppermintos.com. I think this is right. Now we can go into the menu, Internet, and now we have here Peppermint. And if we open that, well, here it is. This is the Peppermint OS website without using a browser. Well, you use the browser Chromium, but it's in the background. You open that website just like an app. And here you can change another icon if you don't like the ice icon. For example, you can choose here the peppermint icon if you like or you can create your own icon if you want well i have to say i like what i see it's a very fast and lean system okay there is this uh, one bug here with the uh, icon caching but you can solve that if you like and uh, there is nothing pre-installed here so you can build up your own system just as you like and if you like this video or my content, please feel free to subscribe. So, bye-bye until next time. See ya.